Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC15 in Austin, Texas, and we're here at the Scalable Informatics booth, and I'm here with Joel Landman. Once again, sir, how are you doing? Very well, Rich. I'm enjoying Austin. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. <laughs> well, you seem to be losing that radio voice of yours, Joel, but uh, I wanted to ask you, you know, what, what, what is the big thing that uh, Scalable Informatics is showcasing this year at SC15? Certainly, what we're, what we're showcasing this year is what we're jokingly calling face-melting performance. What we're trying to do is we're trying to make extreme performance available at a very aggressive price point and at a very aggressive space point for our end users. And so what we've been doing and what we've been working on over the past couple of months has been basically building an NVMe type unit. And this NVMe unit connects flash devices through a PCIe interface to the processor complex. And in addition to that, we're putting a lot of networking horsepower on this. So we've got 100 gigabit coming out of the back of it, and possibly multiple if people have applications for that, as well as putting a lot of processing power, say, imagine up to 36 Intel processor cores, and up to a terabyte of memory into a single 2U package. And the other aspect of this is the capacity of these SSDs. We're looking at about typically a 480, a 960, 1.92, or 3.84 terabyte SSD, and we can get the we can build these units in 12 ter in 12 terabyte scenarios, 24, 48, 96, and in relatively short order. Once our friends uh, at the companies who build these SSDs for us really, really come out with this thing and make my day, we will be able to put 16 terabyte SSDs, NVMs in this for a whopping. 300 plus terabytes in a 2U package. Joe, that's that's a lot of density, right? And for high speed storage, but how fast are we talking out the back end of this thing? How, how fast can it go? A very good question, Rich. Yeah. Basically, what we've done is we've worked on tuning all aspects of the IO path here, trying to make sure that all the SSDs can communicate with the processor complex and the networking complex at full speed because this is a hyper-converged system. We want to make sure there's no bottlenecks throughout this entire system. So within, within this system, we can get a sustained 24 gigabytes per second, and we can get that while we're doing 5.5 million IOPS. This is available now as an end user realizable scenario. This is not a theoretical SFS type benchmark, this is what end users will experience. And they can run their applications either directly on this or over the network, and the network are 200 gig E or 100 gig InfiniBand ports coming out the back. So we can drive those at 20 gigabytes a second. It's extraordinarily well matched between the IO bandwidth and IOPS and the, the back end networking. Okay. So, so Joe, you and I have had the conversation before about IOPS and fake IOPS and you see these numbers out there in the world. You're talking about real six and a half million IOPS? We are talking about IOPS in the five plus million region. Okay. And the first time I ran the benchmark, what was left of my hair got blown back. And yeah. I ran it again and it all fell out. And I ran it again and again. I showed my, my other team members and they all said, this is crazy, there's no way. Yet, this, this is exactly what we're observing, and we're seeing it available in applications. When we run this, when we run on this system, we have so much power, so much incredible I.O. power available that we applications which would be slow on any other platform just are incredibly fast on this thing. Okay, well, I wanted to ask you about applications. What kind of users would need this kind of density, this kind of speed uh, that we're talking about? Oh, certainly. Like I said last year, like I say almost every year, I'll, the argument I make is anyone who's doing any sort of analytics with data at any scale needs a lot of a, a huge amount of I/O bandwidth. They need a huge amount of processing and networking bandwidth. And what we're providing in this is an almost unlimited supply of both. We're provide or or all three, I should say. We're providing incredible. I.O. bandwidth, we're pro providing incredible IOPS, incredible networking performance with a very powerful computer within it. So financial service analytics are a great example of this. IOT analytics, databases, Hadoop, 
any sort of big data, data intensive analytics, this thing just roars on. I mean, it's fire breathing, face melting, it's incredible. All right, Joe, just to wrap up, you call the thing Forte, and I, you know, what do you mean by Forte? Isn't that kind of what you guys are about? Is this kind of speed? Exactly. This is, performance is our Forte. It's, as we like to tell people, it is simply faster.